Hey, hey, it's Berta J. You're back in my kitchen and we're gonna do another installment on kitchen essentials today. We're gonna talk about strainers. Now, strainers are come in different sizes and shapes. They come in different materials as well. But first I wanna tell you what a strainer is. What it does, it's a device in the kitchen that is made of, could be plastic, could be aluminum, could be stainless steel. I'm sure there are some other materials it could be made out of. But what happens is that there are either holes punched in this device or there are pieces of the aluminum or stainless steel that are made into a fine mesh so that heavier materials can be separated from lighter, finer materials like sifting flour or pouring pasta into um, a colander so that the heavier pasta can be separated from the liquid. There are different kinds of uh, strainers that you can have, but I think I'm gonna give you the one that I, the two that I think are, or the three that are most important. First, I think it's important for every kitchen to have a colander. Now, mine is stainless steel, and I had this guy for a long time. There are holes punched in all around the sides. But the thing that you want to make sure when you get it is that there's a collection of a lot of holes on the bottom. And that's done so that when you are straining your pasta, that pool of liquid doesn't collect at the bottom of your, of your uh, colander. It just flows right through. If you can make sure there's a lot of them in the bottom. And this one does have this, a stainless steel colander. You can also use this for berries, um, for different kinds of fruits that you're washing, any kind of berries. You can use it for smaller fruits too that you want to just separate, clean them and put them in here. You can use your colander. Now, that's not the only thing this is used for, but those are some of the things you can use for. Now, you could also do the same thing with a colander if you want to buy one thing, I would say buy a strainer. Now this one, I measured it so that you'd know it's very big. I have three, I'll show them to you. This one's eight inches across. And this you can use, if you can see these little wire meshes in it, it turns it, it, it is going to make fine. Whatever comes out on the bottom is gonna be very fine. And what's gonna be left in here is gonna be the bulk of whatever it is you're doing. What, it, what you can do with this is you can sift flour in here. You've seen these. You can sift flour with this. But the, the, the similarity is, see the bottom of this one? All it is is this, but it's here. And it makes it easy so that what you can do is pour your flour in here and you turn. And the sifted flour comes out on the other side. When you sift flour with this, you put your flour in and you shake it with your hand. Hit it against your hand and it'll come out on the bottom. Now, I also have two different sizes uh, besides this big one, but if you wanted to get any one, I would say get this one first. If you don't have any, get this size. It's a big one. You can get this one, which is five and a half inches, and this one is the, my smallest one, which is three and an eighth. Now, I use this little guy because I have a daughter who doesn't particularly like pulp from citrus in anything. And so since she was little, I've taken this thing, it's old, and I just poured the juice through here and the citrus little pulp gets caught in here and out comes the very strained juice. So you could get a little one if you wanna do something like that. This one, I really don't use this one that much, but I found out that my daughter uses it when she's gonna make just a small amount of something and it has flour. She doesn't want to use this big one because truthfully, if you put flour in and mound it up, it's going to pop out around the sides. But if you put it in here, it's not very much. It's going to pop out if you put it over a small container. So you could still use this for, um, for sifting flour or any of your other uh, grains. Have you ever had oatmeal and you got down to the last a little bit of it and it had a lot of little seeds and pieces in it. You didn't want to put that in your oatmeal. You can sift it out with one of these. Okay. This is a strainer, very fine mesh ball, but this is like a tea, a tea ball. If you drink loose tea, 
it's like a strainer. And instead of a tea bag, you dump this in the water and let it steep for like three to five minutes. Okay, here's another colander like this one. Now this is okay. I used this for a while when I, but when I first, you know, was out on my own before I got married, and I got it from Tupperware because I trusted them. But the, you notice the difference in the holes. The holes on this one come all the way up to the top. So if I've got a lot of pasta, or even if it's mounded in there, I'm going to get it. But this one. The holes are smaller and it just didn't do as good a job. And because there was so much plastic left in the inside on the bottom, it, it, it pooled, water pooled in the bottom of this one. So I stopped using it for a, a sieve and what I use it for is to store my onions. <laughs> I just put some paper towels in here and throw my onions in here. I don't use it for it, but this is a plastic one. You can look for plastic if you'd like, but make sure, like I said, the holes come up. Um, so. I guess the thing I wanted to just make sure you understand is a sieve like these guys is the same as a strainer and they're used to strain liquid away from something. And a colander is used to drain pasta. Now the thing about a sieve also that I didn't tell you is when, you know when a recipe says beans need to be drained and rinsed, put them in your sieve, put them in your strainer, dump the whole can in, the liquid will come out and you can rinse it off right in here, toss it up a little bit and you will have a drained, very dry, pretty dry, but there's just a little moisture left on it, but you will have dry, uh, drained and rinsed uh, beans. Is that all of these different guys, different shapes, different sizes, but all used to take liquid away from something so that you can have a, a drier or a finer type of product that's left over, food that's left. So that's it. If you have any questions about any of these sifters or what it is you think you should get or any, any question at all, just leave it down below in the description, you know, it, it leave, leave it in a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell because what it is is a notification. Every time we upload a vid video, you will get uh, the notification that we've done that. And so that's it. Until next time, I'll say to you, bye for now.